Melissa McCarthy talks about playing Ursula in The Little Mermaid. I also love how you brought some of your past comedic life to this and sure. that you were inspired by drag queens like Divine and bringing some always. of that energy to Ursula. I am a huge fan of drag. I always have been. There's a bravado to it and a self-deprecation to it. It's the perfect mix of having full and utter confidence and also there's some damage there and it's a cover. And I think in, in all of the characters I, I kind of fall in love with that quality of what's done because of real confidence or what's done to cover is that's exactly the gray area that makes me usually take apart. Oh my God, I love her. <laughs> <laughs> the live action remake of The Little Mermaid is finally here. Fans got to see Melissa McCarthy portray Ursula, the sea witch, and hear her rendition of the character's iconic song, Poor Unfortunate Souls. On Sunday, Willie Geist asked McCarthy if it was nerve-wracking to showcase her singing skills in the movie. She said, quote, when I got it, and I knew I was doing it, then I was like, what have you done? Like, what have you possibly done? I have to try to sing perfectly, end quote. She had to overcome that mindset to get comfortable with the character. Her vocal coach challenged her perfectionist attitude bluntly. McCarthy said, quote, I don't know how to do things if it's not in character. And he's like, singing is the same thing. And then it made sense to me. I don't know how to do something in any area perfectly, but I can do it in character, end quote. Doing things in character has always been a comfortable feeling for McCarthy. When she took on the role of Ursula, the bridesmaid star channeled the legendary drag queen Divine, as well as her own drag alter ego. Miss Y for the role. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> I love her. That's all I have to say. <laughs> and I love that she threw props out to our sisters, our drag queen mm -hmm. sisters. Yeah, I, I went last night. You know, it's funny that we're reporting on this. Uh, my wife is a huge Ariel fan. And, and <laughs> whenever she's doing karaoke, if you get a chance to watch her do karaoke, <laughs> she does that uh, a whole new world. You know, um, that's the song, right? OK, uh, but I'm not as I, I'm not as big of a fan. Um, anyways, my wife was dressed as a mermaid last night and we went down to the Danian Point VIP, oh, that's how I go, VIP, very nice. unlimited Slurpees and popcorn, okay, oh. and recliner oh. seats, that's how you do it, uh, but man, it was so great, and, and uh, you know, Haley ba Bailey, and she she embraced the role, she was great, um, if you saw the, the the animated version of this, it was just this, it was a perfect uh, live version, it, IRL, you know, if we're going to get cool here mm -hmm. with the kids. Uh, but the IRL version of this, it was like really, it was brilliant. And uh, even, well, I have some other ideas, but I'm not going to tell you, you can hit me up on my uh, Instagram <laughs> and I'll DM me, slide into my DMs, I can yeah. tell you what you can if do. If you can get through, those DMs get <laughs> crowded. Yeah. Uh, I DMs get crowded. Well, I tell you, don't I do it this weekend. <laughs> well, Ursula was amazing, yeah, right. and now that's going to be my new, uh, I think that's going to be my new karaoke song. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I love Melissa McCarthy too. Yeah. I don't know anything about the Little Mermaid. Me neither. I know this, <laughs> I know this scandal though, uh, and one of my little one of my cousins, um, her granddaughter, terrible. she took her granddaughter to go see it. And she said Milani was yelling in the theater, she looks like me, mm -hmm. she looks like Aww. me, mommy looks, she looks like me. Yeah. And that made me like so happy when she posted that on mm -hmm. Facebook. She's like, you got to see this, how the kids are reacting, right? Yeah. Take the politics out, take us adults with all of our crap, right? right? And the kids are just in there having a ball. She goes to see their faces, having yeah. so much fun with this movie, so. I, I don't even think you can take the politics out because again, um, Disney, of course, is, the, yeah. uh, is, is releasing this movie. Um, I also, across my um, LGBTQ-themed uh, social media, saw more LGBTQ people at this movie this weekend that yeah. I was even <laughs> shocked. And, yeah. and again, where is our buying power and yeah. who should Disney be standing behind? Yeah. It's our community. Yeah. And the representation, again, <laughs> The Little Mermaid is not a real person, so the right. color of her skin is you know also what I, not real. You know real. what I mean? So let's yeah. all remember you know I mean? that this is not a real person. Exactly. 
Um, and, uh, and I'm very happy that she played the role. Yeah, you know, I've um, gotten to meet Melissa McCarthy and interview her uh, several times. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, she's wonderful. And it, the, the movies that I've interviewed her were never on LGBTQ plus themes. It was just, you know, The Heat with Sandy Bullock, right. you know, the fun movies, the fun movies that she's known for. But when you go in, you've got like a, about a minute while they're adjusting your microphone and, and getting you set up and everything. So you kind of chat if they're in a chatty mood. And Melissa's always in a chatty mood. <laughs> um, and she, um, you can just tell she's very open. Yeah. Believe me, that she doesn't hold anything back, and she's very pro LGBTQ. And while we weren't talking necessarily about LGBTQ themes, I would come in and maybe glittery things at 10 a.m. on a Sunday morning, you know, a little cracked out in my outfit. <laughs> and she was always like, "Oh, you're fierce," so you're like, "Oh, you're fun," or something like that. So she's very open. She's very funny. What what you see is, what is essentially get. what you get. Fun. And uh, so uh, go see Little Mermaid for myriad reasons. One of them is to see uh, Melissa because she is fantastic, Melissa. I love you. I get back on the junket circuit. I'm coming for you, girl. Way to go, Melissa. You know, before we go to the next story, I want to say I also love Willie Geist. Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> Good point. New Jersey boy. Um, we are Queer News Tonight, the world's first and only live daily LGBTQ plus evening news show from Happening Out Television Network. In the model of PBS and NPR, we educate, inform, and entertain by supporting the 10 pillars of the LGBTQ plus community. With more than 100,000 a week watching on Roku, Apple Television, and other channels. To keep the stories going, we accept donations with 100% transparency. Stay updated and live authentically with Queer News Tonight.